Hi everyone and welcome to Multiplicity Crafts and Envelope Envy where we're going to go over five ways to dress up your envelopes. This option is very easy and you can make some really cute envelopes with this. I'm going to be using a stamp set from Whimsy Stamps and I'm using the little flower image. If you'll notice, I do have a blue rectangle sheet of cardstock cut out. That's simply my mask for where my address will go. And so I'm using Lawn Fawn ink simply because it is waterproof. In case the envelope gets in the rain, it won't smear the ink. Now you can use things that are not waterproof, but you have to spray a fixative spray. And yeah, I, mm -mm, I'm not trying to do that so I just stick with the waterproof that way I don't have to worry about it and it is a lot easier that way so you'll see here I'm just stamping around the box there using that mask and then once I have all of the little flowers stamped on I'm going to stamp around the edges too and that'll give the look of continuation and just kind of fill in those blank spots and so once I have this all stamped in, I'm going to color with Copic markers. And if the Copics bleed through the envelope, you can just put a piece of paper in there while you're coloring and add a liner inside if you want to hide the bleed through. Or you could also use colored pencils. I'm using the Sizzix Big Shot here. And I have an embossing folder. It's just a cuddle bug embossing folder. And this is dry embossing. It's where it adds kind of a raised texture to your paper. And I'm just putting that on the envelope flap only. And you can see there the little flower images that I got from that folder. And you can ink over that and that'll even make the embossing stand out more. But you don't have to. This will give your envelopes an elegant look. Here I'm simply demonstrating how easy it is to ink onto your envelope flap once you have it embossed. I'm using some waterproof ink from Memento and my blending tool. And you don't have to just use the blending tool with Distress Inks, you can use it with other kinds of ink. And I chose to go with two-tone purple, so I'm doing the darkest purple on the outside edge of the envelope and then I'm going to put the lighter purple on the inside. And so when it's all finished, I remove the masking tape, and that is just painter's tape you can get at the hardware store. If you don't have that, you can use washi tape, and this is what it looks like. As I mentioned before, we can always line our envelopes, and so I have a couple templates for you on my blog. If you want to go over there, I'll have the link for you. And I have a template for a square uh, flap envelope or for a triangle flap envelope. And basically you just want to add some wet glue to the back of your template and line that up straight inside the envelope and just glue that onto the inside as well as the inner part of the envelope flap. And notice the template doesn't come all the way up, and that's simply because you want to have room there for your envelope to seal. And so I left the sticky part up there at the top, and I just went ahead and glued that in. Now I probably wouldn't use orange with this purple, but I was just demonstrating. And so I'd also like to show you the triangle one, and just show you how easy it is. So we have the triangle flap on the back, as you can see there. So all you have to do is just cut out the template, and you'll notice I have some dotted lines across the template. That's just to show you where you would score your envelope. And I chose this bright color of neon cardstock. And I'm just going to trace the template onto this cardstock. And I'm using pen just so you can see where I'm tracing. Normally I would probably just use pencil. And you'll notice right out where the score line is, I put a little arrow there. And I didn't draw it inside what I traced. I just drew it outside so I would know where to score. And once that's cut out, I just need to make sure that lines up nicely in the envelope. And once everything looks good, I can go ahead and use some liquid glue and glue that into place. You can use lightweight 65 pound cardstock or regular paper for this. This 
This option is probably one of the easiest options. Basically, you just cut a piece of cardstock to match the shape and size of the envelope flap, and you just glue that on. It does look good just by itself as just a pop of color, but if you want to take it to the next step, you can emboss it, you can stamp on it, you can draw on it, just anything uh, that you would like. But like I say, it looks perfectly fine just by itself, and it adds a little bit of something to your envelope. In this final option, I'm going to show you how to make your own envelope seals. And so I have some different papers here. I have one, it's kind of got a hologram look on it. And so I'm going to punch one out of that with my one inch circle punch. And I've already punched um, one with a blue glittery cardstock there. So I'm going to set that there so you can see that. Also, it's kind of fun if you have a pattern paper, you can use that or an embossed paper. And so here my paper's dry embossed. It does have some texture to it. And so I'm going to make an envelope seal with the textured paper. Also, it's really fun if you have a design, you can just use your one inch punch as a window to see exactly where you want to punch out. And I'm punching out the little butterfly image, but you can use any image you have depending on what kind of card you're sending. And so here I'm going to show you also you can heat emboss. And so I'm using this little heart image stamp. This is from scrapbook.com stamps. And I'm just powdering my paper first to remove any static. I'm going to use Versamark ink. And so it'll help your embossing powder to stick. I'm going to stamp my little heart in place. I'm stamping that towards the bottom of the paper so my punch will be able to reach that area. And then I'm using some WOW embossing powder. This is just kind of a gold glitter. And all you do is just shake off the excess, just kind of like you would regular glitter. And I just put that onto a piece of paper so I can funnel that back into my container later. And I'm going to heat emboss this with my heat tool. And so once the heat tool is nice and warm, it will melt that glitter into the paper really quickly. And so there you can see it's nice and shiny and very, very pretty. You can add more to it, but this is just to give you the basic idea of what you can do with heat embossing on your envelope seals too. So once that's finished, I just go ahead and punch that out with my one inch circle punch. If you have a different size punch or a different uh, shape of punch, that would work too. Then I'm gonna run all of these little circles or these envelope seals in my Xyron sticker maker machine. So I'm going to place those in the one side and then just pull the adhesive paper down on the other side. And as I pull, they'll just bring those down. And once I have all of those loaded in there and finished, then I can go ahead and uh, rip that off there. There's a perforated edge. And you always want to make sure if you're using a Xyron just to make sure the adhesive sticks to the back. I like to rub them down with like a bone folder or something. If you don't have this, you can always just use glue. But this just makes it easy because it turns them into stickers. And so once I take this protective paper off, I have one, two, three, four, five specialty little stickers I can use on my envelopes. And so here's what it looks like. So these were just some basic ideas uh, just to get your creativity going. I hope you can build upon these ideas and make your envelopes have that definite wow factor. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.